Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout New Vegas Let's Play, this time with episode 20, and we are here in Nipton. I have figured out the mouse Pip-Boy thing, hopefully, and uh, we should be able to get around that. And well, let me turn it over to Checkers the Courier. All right now, Eddie. Let's see what we're about. Heartache by the number. Cass is drowning her sorrows. Go work for the Crimson Caravan. No, I don't think. Speak to Hayes. Wait, who now what? Show location. No, come over here. Show me the location. Who on earth? Um, somehow I don't think Hayes is is here in Nipton. I could be wrong. Well, anyway, what else we got on the agenda? They went that way. Head to Novak. All right, show me where. You are very good at showing me where I am. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that because it would be unkind language. All right, let's see here. There's a drive-in, they say, over here. On our map there. I know we've got to go find the feller that put a hole in my noggin, but... Did a... Gunfire in the distance. Gotta say, this don't look like a drive-in to me. Oh, there, I see it now. Apparently the trees here are involved in a civil war. Somebody's shooting. Something. Somewhere. Well, there's a red mark. Eddie, you got any idea what that is? There's a couple more. Mole rats, maybe. Someone's having a gunfight with mole rats? Well, I guess everybody's got a hobby. Unfortunately for our friend here, he doesn't appear to be friendly to us. That was quite a shot there, Eddie. Well done. Well done indeed. Our jackal gang leader here has eight 357 rounds, nine bottle caps, six 357 cases, a cowboy repeater, some leather armor, some vodka, and psycho. Oh, we're overloaded considerably. Well, I guess we need to start putting things together. Now we got two good ones of those. Kind of a waste to do that, but... Cowboy repeater. Guess we can kind of make that a bit better. And apparel. Lightweight leather armor we can repair with the leather armor. That gets us back underweight, which is good. And you know what? We can have a refreshing Sunset Sarsaparilla just as a reward for Eddie's wonderful marksmanship. All right, Eddie. Mole rat. And, uh, kind of fidgety thing.
Activate crashed satellite. Eddie? Can't do that while we're crouched, Eddie. Nothing happened since the midnight showing at the Mojave Drive-In hasn't started yet. Well, I guess we'll have to come back at some point and check that out. I wonder if it's one of them sci-fi flicks. You know, I always did like, Eddie, where on earth are you? All right, now, guess we may as well just circumvent the rest of the town. No reason to go back in. Got some rails. You know, Eddie, something, something tells me there might be something else of value to us off in this direction before we go running all the way away. One of them, they're premonition-like things. And there's a railway tunnel. Not what I had in mind, but we should definitely go take a look. Just on the off chance there's something that's got left in the wayside here. A lottery ticket and don't really think that's gonna help us much. But maybe, just maybe, you know what else? Well, Eddie, when we get down to some level ground, why don't you come on over here? There you go. Just follow the bouncing ball. All right, now open inventory. Let's lighten our, and I mean by our, my load here. We'll give you that. And uh, I swear I had two good ones. Oh, these are not in very good shape at all, are they? getting there. Here, Eddie, just have some throwing spears. Now we can move a little bit more easily. And I get the feeling we're gonna want to be able to do that, because what I'm thinking of is right stupid, Eddie. Gecko Hunter goes in the pot for later. Gecko meat, golden gecko hiding. All right, Eddie. Let's go be stupid. Didn't get me a hole in my head to go do smart things. Crescent Canyon East. Oh, Eddie. I've had better ideas in my day. Be right careful, Eddie. This stuff is powerfully not good for you. Here, Eddie, I think maybe somewhere under aid. We've got, do we have rad X? We do. Let's take some rad X. Help cut that down just a bit. Come on. Come on, bad idea. What you got, Eddie? Oh boy. Yo, 
Young Golden Gecko has a Golden Gecko hide. We'll take that. Can't remember why, but probably a reason. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack. Yeah, it's about time. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Uh, where is our current effects? Radex is still working. Condition isn't great, but it's what we got to work with. There we go. And Gecko Hide will take. Gecko Hide will take. Back on up. Back on up. Advanced Radiation Suit. Let's just go right on ahead and slip that on. Shall we? And I don't think there's anything else worth getting involved with. At least not in my memory. So, you know what, Eddie? We're gonna hightail it on back the way we came. There we go. We'll get this sorted out one way or the other. And check out this here. Oh, what do we got here? armor case with a combat helmet that's right nice of them first aid box rad x purified water rebound a couple stem packs empty syringe i think we wanted one of those all right do some leaping and hopping Get a hole in your noggin and you learn all kinds of things that you should know, huh, Eddie? Alright, well... Let's get clear of this nasty goo. Get back on our way there. You know what we can do? We can probably just come on over here. And... Nip on back over to Nipton. right quick all right well now that we've done that let's go ahead and get back into our lightweight leather armor our desperado cowboy hat and uh, that's actually not not such bad stuff there the radiation especially that rad resistance plus 40 anyway Oh yeah, we should look. Well, none of this is doing right well, but what we need is a good nap. Red X is worn off, but we are safely away from the radiation. Just press a little space-time key there. Eddie, you need tires for anything? Alright. Let's sidle on up the pass here. I see red, Eddie. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Not sure how close. That is a lot of red, Eddie. That is a lot of red. Eddie, it is possible we're being surrounded. Oh, you know, there's folk right there. Well, Eddie, let's see if we can get to that truck. and hope it's lost its explodey parts. This sure looks like an ambush. There's one up there. Sunset Sarsaparilla Crate, five of those. Don't mind if we do. Open gun cabinet, 920 gauge rounds, a bladed gauntlet. 
caravan shotgun. Five twenty gauge hulls. Open desk, sure, why not? Carton of cigarettes. We'll have to do some working around in here. Items aid have a sunset. Now let's see about oh well it wouldn't be my first choice but it's the choice we're gonna go with that gets us just underweight I don't know how good of a shot I'm feeling or what the range on this really is but too far is what the range is. All right, let's work our way up here. Come on. All right, let's switch to something with a little more oomph. Pistol, eight 10 millimeter rounds, three bottle caps, five cases. Psycho. Now we'll leave the scrap metal and turpentine. What about your friend there? Okay, which one is not you? Um, having a little trouble sorting through the bits here, Eddie. 10 millimeter, eight 10 millimeter rounds, 10 bottle caps, five more cases, some mentats, some rat away. And let's go ahead and start trying to work our weight down again um probably could stand another sunset sarsaparilla and maybe a purified water on top and we're still well, we might be able to move. We're, we're all right. We can move at least. What's going on? That fe that fell over yonder. Eddie, where'd you go? Eddie. I think that was probably a landmine, Eddie. I mean, I approve of your enthusiasm, but you know, we can use those landmines if you don't pop them. Plus, you know, the cars are nuclear. Well. Now I gotta make sure I don't set one off. Poor souls who didn't survive. Well, we got something for something. And Eddie's just going on down the road, burning folk down. Like he does. You go, Eddie. You crazy little Sputnik. Hey, Eddie, we done leveled up. Oh, wow, right here and now. All right, well, let's kick science up to 60. Guns up to... Oh, let's give us 55 at least. Repair could stand some more. Lockpick sure could use some help. Medicine, a couple points there wouldn't hurt. And, um, oh, let's kick a point into so many things. I want to do all the things. Sneak. All right. And done. And we're done, done. All right, then. Off we go. Nine bottle caps, some jet. And not enough weight to really do much else. Where'd your, where'd your other one go, Eddie? No, really, I'm pretty sure there was another one. 
Oh, here they are. Hidden in the rocks. 15 five, five, six rounds. That's nice. Three bottle caps. Med X. And we are on our way. Something blue over here. And several things that aren't. Let's just saddle up on over the ridge. See what's what here. What on earth is this blue thing? Is it one of those birds? It is. It's that bird right there. There's someone right there. See him on the hill there. Alright, for now, since we're overloaded, let's just mosey up the road, cause, well, look at that, would ya? Since we're overloaded, we wouldn't be able to loot them, but I don't know that I can bypass that lookout tower right there in good conscience. So I'm thinking there might be a nice box of ammunition sitting just pretty right inside. Well now bit of a settlement. Seven 20 gauge rounds, seven 357 cases, 79 flamer fuel. And whatever all this is. All right, well, Eddie, let's back up here. It's a fairly defensible position to hold for the moment, and we will pick up again next time. So I will turn it over to the other checkers. Alrighty, well, we evaded, well, eliminated an ambush. We found ourselves an advanced radiation suit and didn't really have any trouble with our mouse. Huzzah! Uh, we will pick up again next time and see what on earth is going on around here. But for the moment, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like and share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.